What's up, YouTube? What's up? So, it's been a minute, but uh, I had this planned on making this video uh, probably about two weeks ago. Uh, <clears throat> however, I never made the video, so here I am. This is a video about how uh, my perps involved in my gang stalking, right? They all seem to be getting what they deserve. Anybody, you know, who, who has, like, come against me, something bad seems to happen to them. Now, I'm not saying that, that that's going to happen or I'm not. I, listen, I don't fucking know. But it's uh, some pretty crazy coincidences. How everybody who's, who has had a, you know, had a role to play or had a hand in my uh, targeting, my gang stalking, bad shit seems to happen to them. Now, I see uh, license plates from Virginia everywhere, all the time from Virginia. And here's another, uh, just another one of those uh, coincidences. I don't know. But this is a video of one of my perps um, from a couple years ago. This particular perp, it's a whole family of perps, as a matter of fact. Um, the family works and is involved in the medical industry as far as uh, taking advantage of, of people with special needs. So, you know, like the, the companies that that take care of special needs people. You know, they <clears throat> there's a lot of money in that industry. And this, she worked for, for a, a couple different companies that I think she worked for a nursing home as well, this, this girl here. This is the girl that got me fired from my job, um, made up a bunch of lies about me, and then, after all that, then conspired with my ex-wife and, and was communicating with my daughter, who was 14 at the time, to buy these girls alcohol behind my back. And I believe they were really, really trying to, to kill them or something caused something really bad to happen because the alcohol that they bought was 14-year-old <clears throat> girls who've never drank before. Um, four Locos. I don't know if you're familiar with Four Locos or what they are. Uh, let's just say, put it this way. They, they ban them on, on certain college campuses because it's got so much alcohol in it and energy drink mixed together. That's what they chose to buy for these 14-year-old girls. In addition to Mike's Harder Lemonade, like 8% alcohol, the Four Locos were like 12% or something like that. And they're big 24-ounce cans. And they, and they bought enough for these girls to, these girls to definitely um, easily put them into alcohol poisoning, possibly kill them. And it was all conspired with my ex-wife to do all this behind my back, right under my nose. Okay, so, and it didn't make any sense. Um, this this chick here, I got them, helped them with a place to live. I helped her with a job. I gave her a ride to work every day for a year and a half. I actually thought this person was my friend. I confided in this person, told them things I didn't tell anybody else. And then they did that to me. And then they, they tried to buy my daughter alcohol. So I didn't call the cops on them. No, I went and confronted them. After confronting them, they threatened to call the cops on me. So what did I do? I said, let me help you out with that. And whenever I was on the phone with 911, um, her, her boyfriend, um, while I'm on the phone with 911, assaulted me twice, okay, while on the phone with 911. And the cops responded to that call. Nothing ever got done at all. Nothing. They did absolutely nothing. I had, I had went above and beyond and had all the evidence, the preponderance of evidence that was without a shadow of a doubt would have made the cops' jobs easy. However, this is what happens when you're targeted and your perps then get protected. They do nothing to the perps. Um... They didn't have to take accountability for any of that shit. None of it. Nothing at all. And they, they ignored me. They didn't even, even 
bother to try to get a hold of me to let me know how anything, like nothing, nothing. Now that's, that's, that's how that works. How are you, how are you going to deny that there isn't some kind of uh, conspiracy against the target by a group of people whenever, whenever a target gets assaulted while on the phone with 911 and reports uh, people furnishing alcohol to a minor and reports all these things and, and a simple assault ha- occurs while on the phone with 911 and nothing gets done. How, how do you explain that? Please help me out there. So anyway, on with the video. This is now fast forward uh, three years later. Um, this I found this on TikTok. And, uh, and then we're going to go on further to see, uh, this person's mother, who I also have evidence of gang stalking me. And then this person's sister, who I don't, I don't have any, uh, evidence or, or any reason to believe that, that the sister was actually gang stalking me at all. But it's funny what, what just happened to the sister two weeks ago. So here, we'll watch this. Hey everybody. Um, I decided to make this TikTok a, like, a video blog, I guess, about my life. I'm 34. I live in Virginia Beach, where I currently reside in a tent. However, my tent was just burned down recently by some crazy, trashed out person. And now I have decided that I'm going to share my story. I'm from Pennsylvania. And I came down here about two years ago. It is a wild and crazy place down here, that is for sure. However, I'm having a time in my life. Now, hey everybody. Did you see the, the correlation to Virginia there? She's in Virginia Beach. Why, as soon as that shit happened with my daughter and the alcohol, she disappeared to Virginia Beach. Did they, did they fucking hurry up and, and, you know, escort her down to Virginia Beach to get her, to get her out of here so that they could claim plausible deniability? I don't know, because as far as I knew, she had no ties whatsoever to anybody in Virginia or Virginia Beach. I worked with this chick every day for almost two years. I mean, you know... Make it make sense, right? And it's really close to, uh, what, Ashburn, Virginia? Ashburn, Virginia is where uh, a lot of my uh, internet traffic gets routed through. Like, no matter what, no matter what, it always goes through Ashburn, Virginia. And it's real close to where she's at as well. And my Facebook account was hacked, as a matter of fact. The location from the showed up as somebody logged into my um, Facebook account from not Ashburn, Virginia, but Virginia Beach, Virginia. Now, what do you know? And that was shortly after this, or right around this same time, as a matter of fact. So why would she have to make a, a video blog uh, in, from Virginia Beach, right, right? So shit rolls downhill. And at the end of the day, these low-level perps are the, are the ones that are going to get in trouble for this shit. So the the people in charge or the people, you know, higher up, uh, I guarantee you they, they set up little things for these people to make sure that they can then blame things on them. So they wanted her to make a video blog, right? I believe they wanted her to do it. That's why. Because this is the only video on there. She makes this one video and that's it. But there's her proof that she's in Virginia Beach during that same time that my shit was hacked right at that same time. Isn't that funny? They probably made her do that. That way, if, if I dug up any deeper and they had to go point the finger at somebody, they could blame her, right? So let's move on to the next one. This next one is what just happened to her sister two weeks ago. Two people in Johnstown are pleading guilty to federal tax violations, fraud and money laundering charges for failing to pay taxes and stealing money from a business one of them worked for. Yeah, the criminal complaint says that 38 year old Sarah Stiles was vice president of Life Changing Support Services or LCSS. 
a company that provides housing to individuals with intellectual disabilities, and she was in charge of filing taxes for the business. Now, Stiles admitted she failed to pay over $20,000 in payroll taxes and over $2 million in employment taxes from 2013 to 2019. The complaint also says Stiles stole over $55,000 from LCSS by directing payments to a fake company called Stonewall Business Management, which was controlled by 52-year-old David Bachik. Now, Bachik would receive the money and then divide it between Stiles and himself. Styles and Bachik's sentencing is scheduled for early December. Federal law states that they'll face maximum sentences of 20 years in prison. So two people in Johnstown are. I just think that's funny because uh, karma's a bitch and, and shit always catches up to you. I remember Carrie telling me about this. Carrie is the, the first perp I showed you. Uh, I remember Carrie telling me about her sister doing this back in 2018, 2019. So she was aware of her, her doing this, laundering money out of her company and stealing money, taking, as a matter of fact, they were, they were um, taking money out of, out of their employees' paychecks for child support, for domestic relations, and then never paying domestic relations, just keeping the money. So they, they didn't mention that in that news story, but I remember her saying that was for domestic relations. How does somebody... In what world does somebody think they, they would be able to get away with something like that? Unless they are working with certain people in positions of authority who maybe assured them that they'd be able to get away with it or something. I don't know. But now, like I said, karma is coming back around. These low-level perps are getting thrown under the bus and they're getting taken down. Um, like that, that first perp, Carrie... She already lost her girls, her two girls, years before that. And then she had like three or four other kids And whenever I was working with her. And I hope, hopefully, I hope they finally took those kids as well. Because it was, I mean, it was sad um, what those kids had to witness and what they, you know, what they might have gone through. And then, I don't know if they got drugged down to Virginia or not. I don't know what the deal is there. I just know I have a picture of the boyfriend passed out in the middle of, in the middle of uh, town, in the middle of public, passed out in the middle of the day with his kids, like little baby crawling on him and kids like, like hanging on him and he's passed out, fucked up. So, and then here's the third one, okay? Now this is, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree, right? Here's the mother. And this is actually the thumbnail on one of my videos. Because during one of my um, videos where I was recording myself, I was getting perped by the mother. Now, this is the mother who drives for Med Van Transport, who is another company involved in my gang stalking. They, there's several of their employees that gang stalk me with the company vehicles. This is, um, obviously, you can see the number here. Now, they don't necessarily use the same number vehicle every time. I think it says 70, I don't know. But anyway... Everybody I know that works for Medvan Transport now acts very weird around me. And, uh, and it funny, right? Even my mother uh, has a lifelong friend that just all of a sudden just like stopped talking to her. And she has one of these vans and actually keeps it at home, drives it to home and shit like that. And drives for Medvan Transport. They're all in the same little clique, okay? But this is her... While driving a company vehicle with her cell phone, you know, talking on her cell phone, and if it's not bad enough, you can, if you're going to talk on your cell phone, you can set it down or have a, a fucking, you know what I mean, put a, a phone mount in your car. You, there's, it's called hands-free. I'm sure it's a policy they're not allowed to drive and... and Talk on a cell phone, hold a cell phone at the same time. I'm pretty sure they're not allowed because it is against the law. But, you know, this is, this is evidence. And this is the mother, okay, of the, the Styles girls. Yeah, here's the mother. Gang stalking me while I'm just walking making a video. I don't know if she, these people are that stupid. They think that, like, they're not going to get exposed or something. Now, what she's doing is is... I was going to say, it's not like she's 
engaged in a legal activity, but she is engaged in an illegal activity. And there's the proof of it. But what are you going to do? These people just have it have the mindset that they can do whatever they want and get away with it. So hopefully these latest um, examples, um, I'm seeing a lot more than that. Just I just wanted to point these, these things out. Here's a family of perps, family of my perps. And, you know, the karma is coming back around. So with that being said, be good or be good at it. Peace out.